way you can connect your Google Drive is through the Files application. I'm going to tap on Files, and then I'm going to tap on Cloud Drive. To add a new Google account, you can tap the Add button, Add Account, Google Drive. This will redirect you to the browser to sign in to your Google Drive. Now that I have my Cloud Drive open, I can double tap on my name, and in my Cloud Drive, I can see any files that I'm able to open on the board. Note, you can open PDF files and image files, but you cannot open your Google files from this location, such as slides, docs, etc. Now let's see how you can export a file to your Google Drive from Whiteboard. I'm going to tap on Whiteboard to open a new Whiteboard file. Now let's say I've used this Whiteboard file to take some notes for class, and I want to export these notes to my Google Drive so I can share with my students in Google Classroom. To do this, I'm going to click on the three lines in the bottom left-hand corner and tap Export. I would recommend an image file or a PDF file. I'm going to go ahead and just choose PDF this time. Now this is going to default to the storage on the board. I'm going to choose my cloud drive, select my name. I can also choose a folder in my drive where I want this to go. I'm just going to go into my main drive, click OK, and then I'm prompted to name this give this file a name. I'm just going to say OK there. All right, now that file has been uploaded to my Google Drive as a PDF file. I'm going to exit out of the whiteboard. Now, if you need to log out of your Google Drive, what you want to do is you actually want to go to the Apps menu. I'm going to tap on the Apps menu, and I'm going to navigate to the apps that is called Cloud Drive. I'm going to tap on the icon Cloud Drive, and then I'm going to tap and hold on the user that I want to remove and tap the trash can. Say OK, and that user has been cleared out of the Cloud Drives. The second way to connect your Google Drive is to access your files from the browser. So let's back up a step and talk about browsers. To download an alternate browser, navigate to the Clever Store. Open Chromium, tap Free Download, and after you've downloaded, you will tap Install. Now that I have installed those browsers on the board, I'm going to tap on my menu and go into my apps, and I'm going to go ahead and find the browser that I want to use. We're going to navigate to Google Drive by going to drive.google.com. Now let's note, I am viewing the mobile version of my drive. This isn't how my drive looks in when I'm accessing it from a computer browser. And the way that I can get around this is up in the upper right hand corner, I can tap on the three dots and I can tap desktop site. It's going to reload this site and I'm now in the desktop mode as opposed to the mobile version. Well, now this looks like my drive looks on my computer. And I'm going to go ahead and just open up a Google slide. Now that I have my Google slides open, I can go ahead and tap on the annotation tools. I'm going to tap on the pencil. And I am able to annotate over this Google slide. I want you to note any annotations I do on here are going to be an overlay. And in order to navigate to my next slide, I need to clear these annotations to be able to tap and go to the next slide. So I would suggest if you want to do some editing and you want the editing to stay on that slide, I would suggest using the capture tool and bringing this slide or just the content that you need into the whiteboard by dragging and selecting and tapping the whiteboard icon. Now I have a screen snip of my Google slide. I can annotate over this and I can save my annotations by exporting as a PDF or 
uh, just saving to the board storage. Lastly, if you are looking for more advanced functionality with your Google tools, I would suggest connecting your device to the board through the inputs or through CleverShare.